Future Music. So recently I actually purchased Equator 2 from Roly. Now I used Equator 1 and if you watch some of my iPad music production or my beat making videos, you know that I use the Roly Noise app on iPad as well. I wanted to actually just make a short video about Equator, doing an overview of Equator and going through some of the presets because as I look on YouTube, there's not a whole lot of content about Equator 2. So before we get into looking at Equator 2, if you like videos like this, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. You could also follow me on Instagram at d.majormusic. On this channel, I like to go over topics similar to this as well as I have my Major Music Lounge podcast, which I interview different producers and different artists. Also, beat making videos. This is something that you're into. Go ahead, hit the subscribe button. Let me know you were here. So, Rolly Equator 2. I've been a big Rolly fan over the years. And as you can see, you probably saw some of my videos with the Seaboard block and the Rolly light pad. If you have or if you want to get Equator, you're going to want to make sure you have a MPE compatible MIDI controller that's MIDI polyphonic expression but then if I turn around and hit a key on here but not just that I can actually that's what MPE is MIDI polyphonic expression. You can basically play your notes with expression um, opposed to just a standard MIDI keyboard. I would have to go in and actually do some editing in order to get some of the effects that the Rolly C board gives me. Now, any of the MPE compatible keyboards, here I have the C board block and the light pads, but also there is the Lumi keyboard, the Sensei Morph, that a lot of people are using as well. Now we're gonna go ahead and look at Rolly's website so we can take another look at Equator. Here we are on Rolly's website and we're looking here at Equator 2. So as I go down here, I just wanna go all the way to the bottom. So here it tells you a little bit about some of the features. So over 1400 presets uh, 579 MPE presets and 896 built in for conventional controllers so meaning like for complete control or the Arturia Mini Lab or any of the other just standard MIDI controllers there's gonna be 896 built in uh, presets now you could also change your sources and types of synths from uh, wavetable, granular, multi sampler, and noise. You're gonna have an effects section also in it, which we're gonna take a look at. If you have anything from the first equator or if you bought any sounds like using the noise app, those will also cross over to equator two. Here you got your system requirements. Talks about 13 gigs of space that you're gonna need. Um, it is a really good sound library. Now we're looking here, any of the any of the sounds here on screen that has this orange icon to the left of it, that's gonna be just your standard MIDI sound. So But if I went to any of the ones with the blue icon like this that means they're gonna be MPE compatible so now or if I switch let's see let's get another song So if I go now to one of the sounds with the blue icon on the uh, left side, I can actually go to my keyboard now and let's 
So there's going to be a difference whenever you're going through the sound libraries. Now, if we're looking here also on screen, now here you got your synth section. So if I go here, I can actually select whether I want to use a wavetable, if I want to use the sampler, if I want to go with the granular synth, or if I want to go with the noise engine. You actually got a third section you can actually enable by just clicking here at the bottom or I can disable it by pressing the power button here. Now you're going to have your filter area here as well. Got your macros, your envelope section on the lower left corner. In the center, now you're going to have all your MPE settings. So right now it's checked to standard, but if I go to this side, now it's MPE. You got five gestures. So you got your strike, glide, slide, press, and lift. Ah, and, it, and actually the reason that it was on standard was because I selected an instrument that had one of the orange icons on the left side. So that's why it was selected to standard at that point. But if I, let's say I go to another instrument here and maybe I'll try, uh, let's go here. Three is the analog number. Go back here to my engine. Now notice that the MPE now is highlighted now, not the standard. So I can go in. And notice as well, like when I hit press, you're going to see the press parameter. And that time you saw the slide because I slid my finger as well. And then I did strike. So right here, you can adjust your settings accordingly. If you want to create your own MPE compatible, if you want to create your own MPE sounds within Equator 2, right here is where you're going to change your settings. Now on the bottom right corner, you're going to have your LFO section. And then, um, now one thing I didn't bring up is if I go back to the top left corner, you're actually in these three different engines here you can actually change individual sounds here so like if I wanna go here maybe I wanna uh, let's see I'm gonna get these strings here and then let's say on the second one maybe I'll get a pluck and then maybe on the third uh, let's say I'm gonna get this lead here I'm just I'm just selecting random things so now when I go in so that just kind of shows you how you can create your own sounds uh, by just exploring a library now if you want to explore the overall library it's gonna actually be in this upper center right here and here which we're gonna take a look at some of the uh, presets so let's go ahead and do that actually. I kind of like that actually. Got a pluck. Checking out some of these pads here.
this effects section you can uh you can actually also tap in this little menu in the top right corner and if you want to add like if you want to switch it up to add your compression or noise gate distortion you got a whole lot of different effects in this section and then you even got reverb you got more slots if you want to add more effects here So it's pretty straightforward in that term. And then let's say you come up with a preset, you can hit save as and whatever you want to type in there, go ahead and type it in there. Add your description and then uh, it'll be saved into your library. Now when I got really Equator 2, um, I paid the 149 for the upgrade, but if this is your first time, um, you're going to be looking at 249. So I just wanted to make a video about Equator 2, just going over some of the presets and navigation about Equator 2 and some of the navigation within Equator 2. Uh, because when I went on YouTube, I didn't originally see a whole lot of content centered around Equator 2. So that's why I kind of wanted to make some. If you own Equator 2 already, let me know how you like it. And if this is your first time here on this channel, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe. I uh, like to talk about content like this each and every week. So um, every week is something different. You definitely want to tune in. I appreciate everybody that's supporting thus far. You could also follow me on Instagram at D dot underscore major music. Let me know you're from the channel. And uh, until next time. I'm out.